good evening dear students today we are going to learn the poem the world is mine this poem is written by joy lovelet crawford the world is mine students what is mean by world world means universe mine mine means my the world is mine the world is mine means this world belongs to me i am the master of this world i am the owner of this world so let's start the poem today on a bus i saw a lovely girl with silken hair today on a bus i saw a lovely girl with silken hair poet says that he was traveling by a bus and while traveling by a bus he saw a lovely girl in the bus he saw a beautiful girl in the bus and the girl had silken hair the girl had silky hair i envied her envied means jealous of her i was jealous of her she seemed so gay and i wished i was so fair the girl seemed seemed means looked so gay gay means happy and i wished i was so fair and i was thinking if i was so fair fair means beautiful handsome or white colored i wished i was so fair and i was thinking if i was handsome beautiful then it would have happened different poet saw a beautiful girl in the bus and he had jealousy for her beauty he was complaining to god god you have made that girl so beautiful and why you did not make me handsome when suddenly she rose to leave when suddenly she rose to leave rose means stood up to leave to leave means go i saw her hobble down the aisle i saw her hobble hobble means walking unsteadily or walking with limp down the aisle aisle means the way there is a way between two sides of the bus there are seats to both the sides and between the seats there is way for passengers to go out and to come in and the girl stood up to go and the girl starting started walking and when she started walking poet saw that the girl was limping the girl was not able to walk properly the girl was not able to walk steadily because the girl was handicapped she had one weak leg she had not both the legs strong oh god forgive me when i whine and now poet says to god god i am sorry whine whine means complaining i complained you that you made that girl so beautiful and you did not make me handsome but now he saw the girl was good looking the girl was beautiful but she was handicapped by one leg and poet had two legs i have two legs the world is mine and poet said that god you have given me two legs and my both the legs are very strong and so i thank you for giving me two legs and i am sorry i complained to you for not making me so handsome like that girl the girl was lovely beautiful but she was handicapped in the first stanza poet wants to say that we people complain to god for not giving us some things and giving those things to others but we don't see or we don't know that the people have some more things than us but they have some less things than us 
and we should consider about these things now second stanza and then i stopped to buy some sweets the lad who sold them had such charm and then poet uh, gets down the bus he goes to one shop he wants to buy sweets chocolates and there was a shop on that shop there was a boy that boy was selling sweets that boy was selling chocolates and the boy was very charm very happy very energetic very enthusiastic vigorous i talked with him and poet started talking with that boy he seemed so calm poet was talking to him and the boy was looking calm peaceful silent and if i were late it would do no harm the boy was talking so happily his talking had positive thoughts so poet engaged himself with chatting with that boy and he thought if he was late he doesn't matter because the boy was so friendly and as i left he said to me i thank you you have been so kind and now poet started to go when he started to go at that time the boy said thank you to poet for chatting with him for interacting with him it's nice to talk with folks like you folks means people the boy said that it is very nice to talk to people like you you see i am blind and the boy said that that shopkeeper said that he is blind he is not able to see he has no eyesight and before that poet was thinking the boy is charmful energetic and poet had envy for that boy but now he came to know that the boy was blind the boy had no eyesight though he had no eyesight but the boy was looking very happy and i have two eyes the world is mine poet says that god you have given me two eyes and i can see anything i can enjoy the beauty of the nature i can see look watch what i have to see so that i should not complain to you the boy was blind ate the boy was happy and poet had legs poet had eyes eyesight ate he was unhappy he was unsatisfied so here poet wants to say that we should not be unsatisfied in life we should be satisfied we should be contented with whatever we have got now third stanza later walking down the street i saw a child with eyes of blue now poet was walking on the road while walking on the road poet saw one more boy and that boy had blue colored eyes very beautiful eyes he stood and watched the others play the boy was standing beside the road and beside the road there was playground there were many children children were playing on the playground and that boy was observing watching others playing it seemed he knew not what to do and poet thought that that boy was not able to decide what to do and what not to do i stopped a moment then i said why don't you join the others dear poet went near to that boy and poet said to that boy my dear son my dear friend why don't you join those boys who are playing on the ground why don't you take the enjoy of playing with them he looked ahead without a word but the boy did not reply to poet he did not say a single word to poet and then i knew he could not hear and after some time poet understood the boy was deaf he was not able to listen he was not able to hear 
O God, forgive me when I whine. I have two ears, the world is mine. And poet was jealous of that boy's blue colored eyes. Poet was comparing himself with that boy. His eyes, he was comparing his eyes with the eyes of that boy. That boy had blue colored eyes, beautiful eyes, but he was deaf. He was not able to hear and poet had two ears and he was able to listen music, listen talk of others. He was able to listen everything and eat. He was complaining to God but after that he understood his mistake and he said sorry to God for complaining to him. Now last stanza. With legs to take me where I will go. With eyes to see the sunset's glow. With ears to hear what I would know. Oh God, forgive me when I whine. I am blessed indeed, the world is mine. With legs to take me where I will go. And boy said to God, God, you have given me legs. You have given me strong legs and I can go anywhere where I like to go. I can run, I can walk, I can ride a bicycle, I can ride a bike and that's why I am blessed. I should not complain to you about anything. With eyes to see the sunset's glow, you have given me two eyes. You have given me eyesight and I can see sunset or I can see sun rising. I can see everything. The world is beautiful and I can enjoy the beauty of the world with the help of my eyes. And so I am blessed. I should not complain to you for not giving me some things. With ears to hear what I would know. You have given me ears and I can hear music. I can hear everything. I can hear melodious songs with the help of my ears. Oh God, forgive me when I whine, but dear God, sometimes I complain you for not giving me some things, but that is not good, that is wrong. I should not do that next time. I am blessed indeed, the world is mine. And poet says to God, God, I am blessed. I have got everything and so this world is mine. The world belongs to me. Here poet wants, wants to say that God has given us two eyes. God has given us nose, mouth, ears, hands, legs, our body, talent. He has given us, given us everything. Though we may be black colored, we may be white colored. Whatever color may we have, but God has given us life and that is very important. Beauty of the body is not important. Beauty of the body is not permanent. What is permanent? Talent is permanent and God has given us talent. Then why should we complain to God? At the end of the poem, poet wants to say that we should be happy with whatever we have got. And we should not compare ourselves with others because they have some more things than us and they have some, some things more and some, thing, some things less than us. That's why we should not complain about anything. We should be happy in our life and we should enjoy our life wholly. God has given us body, talent, tongue, ears, nose, eyes, mouth, everything and we can enjoy our life with all these things. We need nothing. Our every part is so valuable. We cannot, we cannot do its value. If we have lost one leg, then we come to know what is the price of that leg. When we when we lose our hand, after that we come to know the importance of that hand which God has given us freely. 
that's why we should be happy in life we should enjoy life here ends our poem dear students please like my video share it and if you have not subscribed my channel it is very important for you please subscribe it now bye for now see you again